Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have three more commemorative Minibot reissues to take a look at for you from the original Transformers G1 toy line. We have Bumblebee, Warpath, and Gears. Now these are exclusive to Walmart and I had had quite a dry spell for some time. Previously I reviewed uh, Tailgate and Swerve and I had never seen any before or since. Uh, every once in a while I would see like another one of those two but I would never seen any other ones in the line. And then recently I found Bumblebee, and then like a day later I found Warpath and Gears together. So I decided to just review them all at the same time, since these are kind of tiny and they go really quick. But I was really excited to find these. Uh, I know I have a few of these back from when I was a kid, but those ones are kind of worse for wear. Uh, a lot of love went into those toys, or they got played with, with love uh, many, many years when I was a kid. So it's nice to have new versions that I can keep nice, and hopefully the joints won't fall apart and stuff like that on me. But yeah, definitely excited to take a look at these. Love the original packaging that these guys are aiming for to mimic. And it's just really, really great. Uh, converts from robot to mini car and back. And then I believe that's French. That's my guess there. Uh, but yeah, this one also is pretty cool because he has a more G1 accurate face. Which is apparently a reissue they did some years ago that I missed out on. So also got the tech specs. Absolutely love that. So, very excited to grab Bumblebee. Next up we have Warpath. He is a tank. Taking a look on the back, you have pretty easy conversion instructions there. And then the tech specs again. And I love the battle scene here. I think that's really cool as well. Love that. And then we have Gears. And you can see, I think Warpath has a different one because he came later. Yeah, Bumblebee and, and Gears both have this scene because that was the original one that one's kind of a wave two or later releases uh, scene on the back but either way very cool love the tech specs absolutely love picking these up now these are i think 786 a piece which seems a little bit more than they need to be but back in the day they were probably somewhere between three and five and that's back with 80s dollars so <laughs> it kind of makes sense they're scaled up for inflation uh, i would have loved it if they were five dollars a piece but you know that's just kind of what it seems like they should cost to me, but I think it makes sense. Like I said, scaled up for inflation, and they're still not terrible. Not like they're ten or fifteen a piece or anything like that. So if you're looking for these, definitely check Walmart. Seven eighty six, I believe, a piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys open, and we'll take a closer look. All right, so here are the three mini bots out of the packaging, and who would have thought Bumblebee is the biggest one? <laughs> we'll start over here with Gears. Love the color scheme. Blue and red always look good together. I like the head sculpt as well. I think in the cartoon he had separate eyes, but I always loved that visor. Original toy always had the visor, and I always thought that was so cool. Articulation, the arms can move. That's about it. Um, go ahead and bring them down, and then push them against the body. And I guess technically he does have knee articulation too, but it's really just a transformation. But if you want to call it a knee bend, go for it. So here is the vehicle mode. Very cool. Love the Autobot sticker there. I uh, also really like the one in the front as well. Uh, I The only thing I have to complain about this guy is I wish the rub sign wasn't sideways. It looks so weird like that. They would have just turned it 90 degrees. I feel like it still would have fit. I guess they are worried that it didn't. There's got to be a reason they did it, but I just think it looks weird. I wish it wasn't sideways like that. Next up, we have Warpath. And I think in the packaging, he comes with his arms all the way at the side. And I think you can leave it like that. But they do pull out, so if you like the look of that, I think that looks a little bit cooler. Uh, again, arms swivel, that's about it. He's got one giant foot down here. But he does have a rub sign, so that works. Looks pretty cool. So how this works, you push the head in. You push the barrel forward. Bring the arms up. And if you had them pushed out, push them back in. And then this whole thing will go down like this. And then push forward. And there you go. There is your little tank. And then when you're in tank mode, the turret can spin from side to side. So I guess technically if you wanted to call that head articulation, <laughs> you could as well. But I think it's more important for the tank turret. But I've always liked this little tank. Just has a lot of, uh, a lot of character to it. And I really like it quite a bit. And then last but of course not least, we have Bumblebee. He's got kind of a more G1 accurate head. Apparently this was a re-sculpt they did some years ago for a previous reissue that I didn't even know existed so this was a nice surprise uh, again arms can move side to side that's about what you get flip the 
feet down, press this all the way in, and then you go ahead and push your arms in, and then you push the little head up, nice sticker on the back there, and there is your super adorable little VW Bug, nice Autobot sticker there on the chest slash hood, and some nice red paint here on the back for the taillights, which is pretty cool. And I think these are still rubber tires like the original, so that's pretty cool. So I really love all three of these. I definitely recommend picking them up. Obviously, they're mostly nostalgic. I can't really recommend them as far as like amazing toys by today's standards. But if you had any of these as a kid or maybe uh, you have a young one that you want to kind of pass them on to because you remember having fun with them when you were a kid, uh, I definitely recommend picking them up. They're not super expensive. Uh, but they're definitely a lot of fun, and if, like I said, if you have nostalgia for them, like I can understand kids nowadays just walking up and going, what's this? But I mean, especially these little ones, I feel like you can transform them back and forth, there's fun to be had, put them in your pocket, carry them around with you. Uh, there's a reason they were popular back in the day, <laughs> so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.